Today we're going to list some items and we're going to talk about an assembly line process that will quickly speed up your listing abilities. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about listing some things in a quick and easy way to list a whole bunch all together like an assembly line. Now, I've got some sheet music here. I've actually showed this before in another video. This is from 1773, and I think there's one from 1774. That's the date, the year these were printed, 250 years ago. Now, all of those were photographed and stored on an SD card. If we're doing anything like that, whether we're scanning them or doing like a duplex scanner and doing them that way as well, they all go on an SD card. We've got multiple laptops, multiple PCs, multiple people that would list. So this way, this can just sit with the actual items here. And anywhere the items go, the SD card with the actual images will go with it. Simple, easy to be. Another thing I would always recommend is to set these all up. Line them all up together. All like items right next to each other. So when you photograph them, scan them, or whatever you're going to do with them, they're all in the same order and you've got like to like items next to each other. So when I'm listing these, which we're going to do in just a minute here, they will all be simple to list. Once I get the very first listing set up, all the rest will be identical other than the title, a couple words only, like two or three words in the title, a quick change on images, and the price will be exactly the same. That's it. So a couple of words and the images, and I'm done for each and every listing past that point. As I said, I set it up like an assembly line, so these were all photographed together. That is the big point. Don't be bouncing back and forth between different items because it means you're going to have to bounce back and forth on eBay. It's far easier just to take a couple moments and set them up before you take those images and then list them that way. It'll take you far longer if you go ahead and just take some random images and then sort them through when you go to list them. That's far harder to do it that way because the images won't be next to each other. You'll spend a lot of time trying to find the images, and if you don't use an SD card, it can be even harder to find the images. Many people aren't sure where it stores them and things like that in your own PC. So anyway, let's hop over and list these items right now. So I keep everything on a card, an SD card. Every Every single thing I have. This one has a bunch of stuff on it. Um, let's see what else is on this one here. I think I've got posters on. Yeah, the posters are on here too. So these are all ready to list. I bounce back and forth. Whoever is bounces back and forth a lot of times. We've listed some cigarette labels to start with. Now I've got sheet music already lined up on here. These are from 1774. This one is. And all the rest are from 1773. It's from a book, a magazine. I've got a video on me yanking them out. So I've staged it all ahead of time. I take photos in a row of all like items. So I took a whole bunch of cigarette labels, took a whole bunch of the sheet music that I wanted to list up to. This cuts out a lot of time. You set it up before you take the photo. So it's just boom, 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 right in a row. Now, I don't usually use any form of uh, template because on eBay, I see that many times if the template's been setting, it can disappear. Or when eBay changes something, the template doesn't change with it. So if they change like a search criteria or something or item specifics, usually the template, unless it's brand spanking new, isn't going to sync with what's up there. Then we can just pick any one. I've got over a thousand sheet musics on this account here. I can just grab one. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to move stuff around. I'm just using this to get the basics. This listing should be correct and ready to go at all times. You can always double check, make sure everything is correct. The mobile friendly checker is one of the ones I always would recommend doing every time. Sometimes things change and it may not be up to date, but obviously you see this one here already was. We've tried to make sure that all of our listings are correct and ready to roll on this case. Now these are early sheet musics. So one of them is from one date. This is from 1774 and that's the actual date that this came from. Um, and this can be uh, 1774 original um, Mr. Morgan sheet music with, uh, let's do it this way, with uh, lyrics. <clears throat> and we're going to put ladies 
magazine insert. Yes, I know there's a typo there. So a lot of this, once I type it in once, I don't have to type it in again. That's it. That's pretty much all I'm going to worry about. Let's put the little period. We've got plenty of room. Um, and I'm also going to put, um, let's see here, ladies magazine. Let's do it this way. Let's back up here. Lyrics. We're going to put revolutionary war if I have room. And it should have enough room as long as I can get my spelling correctly. So there we go. So this is what I'm going to do for this very first one here. And I'll kind of move it around from this point on. The sheet music may have wears, rips, tatters, or be missing a corner or other, um, other let's see here, issues related to it being over 250 years old. Now, I got these out of a book. We literally removed them myself, so I know that they are the legit deal. I still have the book here. I haven't touched it or done anything with it. I do have a video on this exact item being found, so if you're interested, you can go back from, uh, I think, last year even and see that video. Now, we're just going to go ahead and zoom in these here. So I just have to get to where this is at. Let's see here. Once you get to the spot you want, it's going to be the same uh, page it pulls back to every time. So, And you can do two. We're going to do the front and the back. And then I'm also going to do one more of the front, which is right here. So I can put the date on there as a zoom in. I want to uh, pretty much emphasize, let me just do it this way, the date on this one. So this is going to be my zoom in here on this very first section here. We're going to do this. I'm going to crop it like that, and let's see what it looks like. And then we're going to go from there. As long as it's going to take to do something is to set up this very first one. I'm going to just check to make sure everything else looks good. Everything else is fine on here. Genre, we're going to come down here and see what we got. Format. Now this one here says it's for guitar, and I'm going to show you how they spell guitar there. That's how they spell guitar which is kind of interesting, but we're going to actually do the correct spelling, even though that's how they have it there. Once it's in there, we're done. I don't have to, again, come back in. We're going to take this off here. We're going to tie it to, I guess, maybe folk. And then um, rev. Let's see if there's a war option on here. Nope. I'm going to put Revolutionary War anywhere I can in this. We're going to get rid of that. Um, let's see here. I don't think there's going to be anything else that really applies in this one here. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look. Nope, I don't see anything. We're just going to put Guitar again. And that is it. Just Guitar. Experience level, we're going to leave that blank. For the brand, I am going to put the company that printed the actual sheet music. Somebody may recognize that, so I would always try to put that in if it will let you. Now, this is printed, let's see here, where this is printed in United Kingdom. So, again, this is where it came from. This is a ladies' magazine from London. Uh, no custom bundle, so we can put no. Vintage sheet music. <clears throat> from the time of the... So we're just gonna pop in Revolutionary War era in this section too. Now, price-wise, there's nothing really to compare these two. So I'm just gonna do them as a bin for 135 each. Now, it already has the correct shipping policies, everything else. I picked another listing that was sheet music as well. So everything else is set up correctly on here, everything you see here. So it's just a matter of listing the item from here. Now, going forward, all the rest of these already have most of the information filled in. The only difference is the rest of these are actually going to be from 1773. So let's pop this in here. So just keep creating them from here. I use the exact same stuff you have here. We're going to block out some of this. We're just going to go back in here, change the date. Uh, him. In fact, let's go back. Hudson's him. Mr. Hudson, him. Sheet music with lyrics. So again, that's all I'm going to add to this one here. We're going to leave that the same. I can, from this point on, just delete and quickly add in everything going forward from here so let's open that up 
Let's go ahead and get the actual front one more time. We're going to do a zoom in on that as well. And we're just going to move this back to here and do a zoom in up at the top. So once you get the first one up, everything falls into place. This is basically an assembly line. You stage everything photo-wise in a row. They all stick together. As you list them, you all do them together. That way you only have to change everything once. You don't have to keep bouncing around. It keeps most of the same things here. Same time frame, folks. Sheet music, guitar, guitar. I don't need that. It's printed by the same company, so that stays the same. Everything else here stays the same. I'm keeping the price the same. So as long as I'm happy with the title, which again, it has what I want in it, I'm happy with the actual images. I did my zoom in. Once you get the basics up, it's just a matter of constantly throwing a new one into this mix right here. I'm going to do another one. Once you get in the groove, it's really easy to keep on rolling with this too. So let's get rid of these. Uh, let's see here. This is Mr. Hudson. It doesn't say him. Uh, Hudson's... Yeah, I'm just mixing up it. There's no technical song title to this. Now, I constantly move these to a file once I've used them so I don't get confused on where I'm at. I don't have to worry about anything. So at the end of the day, it all just goes ahead and gets burned onto a Blu-ray disc, and I can easily back up everything that way. So again, we're going to do a little zoom in, um, and that'll do it here. All the other images should be fine. I've got the zoom in. Everything else should stay the same. And now I'm keeping the price. I just slide on down and boom. I'm already done with this one as well. And I'll just pop up another one here. Now this one's by someone else. It has words by someone else. So we're just going to get this out of there. Clara Reeve song sheet music. And that's what we're going to leave this one at. We're going to remove this. I'm going to get the next one in here, which should be this one as we see it. And again, once you do the first one again, it gets so simple if you stage everything ahead of time. It's just a quick, simple list once you've got the first one listed, once they're all together. Again, it's so simple when you do it this way. It's basically an assembly line process. Everything is just done in a row. All the sheet music is done together. I don't have to change categories. I don't have to change anything else that goes along with it. Again, everything else is all the same. I can just zip down to the bottom and list my item. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that gave you some ideas. If you'd like to support the channel, I do have t-shirts you can order down below, a lean, mean reselling machine. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.